Hello, this is Renee Esquivel, and you're watching my latest YouTube video on my channel, Technologist on the Go, where I like to demonstrate things I've learned out in the real world as an IT field engineer, independent, mind you. And for today's video, <clears throat> what I'm going to demonstrate is a uh, an enterprise level Chromebook that I received as part of a a project I'm working on. It wasn't provided to me to evaluate or anything. It's actually part of a one of the assignments I'll be working on. As it turns out, the Chromebook I was provided is from the HP Elite class. That is the number one class of enterprise Chromebooks, at least as of this time. And within that class, they actually sent me the top model. So what I am demonstrating here is how well can this model perform gaming functions? Because that's, that's for a lot of people, gaming is what matters. And Chromebooks are getting a bigger share of the market. So let's just dive into it and see how well this Chromebook, which is top of the class, you know, and there is no better when it comes to enterprise level right now anyway. Let's see how well it fares. Okay, so let's get right into it. This is that top of, cla top of the class uh, Chromebook. And using the uh, Chromebook recovery utility, I demonstrate, uh, well, I pull up the model it is. It's the HP Elite Charlie 1030 Chromebook, or it's the, uh, and also known as the X360 13 Charlie. Um, now, I pulled up the, the specs for it. This is from HP's own website. Um, you can see right here uh, is the top processor it has. Intel i7 uh, model 10 610 uniform. And um, using the uh, uh, COG system uh, application that I installed, you can see that's exactly what we're using here. It's got the top of the line, eight core Intel i7 processor with the Intel ultra high definition onboard graphics. And, uh, and of course this has the three to aspect ratio, which makes it uh, a deeper read. So you can actually see code better. You can read documents better because you can visually see more. Okay, well that said, uh, we got to demonstrate this. <clears throat> you can see on the side here also, um, it's got the volume button, it's got uh, a USB-C port, audio plug on one side, and uh, on the other side here, SanDisk reader, another USB-C, and a uh, uh, so, uh, USB SS port there. Let's see here. You can see there for uh, a Type A USB. Now let's just hop right into it. Okay, let's start here with uh, uh, launching the GeForce Now application. I've already previously linked my Epic account, so I'm launching for Fortnite right now. Okay, it's launched now. Um, there was some delay in getting the app uh, in, in the application launching that's typical okay let's go ahead and uh, the the player I have in using this uh, doesn't like the Xbox one controller so they're gonna go with the uh, ps4 I'm not the <clears throat> the <clears throat> I'm not very skilled at the gaming aspect that's why I brought a much more skilled tech to do this portion of it he's a minor but he's pretty good okay so you can see here the setting up of the uh, different parameters for the ps4 controller all of this is good because you can see how this does work nicely on the uh, chrome chrome os
and in a moment the setup of the ps4 controller will be done and we're going to move to the uh settings because it's it's in particular in regards to the settings that I was wanting to see how well you can play a game like Fortnite on a Chromebook. Now, note this is a enterprise class, so it's not like the uh, Acer Spin 713 that was has a gaming aspect to it, but this one is the top of the class enterprise. So we're lowering the vertical boost, horizontal boost, and then increasing the look speeds of those two parameters. Boost ramp time is reduced to zero. Uh, boost ramp time, uh, turning boost ramp time is reduced. Damping time is tweaked a little bit. And I believe we're actually ready to jump into it now. A little bit more tweak here. This time in regards to uh, oh audio, the game player wanted to make sure that the audio was coming through uh, on the speakers for the uh, Chromebook, which was done. All audio suppressed for this gameplay video capture. I just wanted to see the video itself. I mean, there was audio when it, when it, when I was recording it, but I'm not having audio for the purpose of this video okay here we are at this everyone who's played fortnite in these competitions is familiar with this uh little space you're in while okay we're at the point now where we're just about ready to launch into the game and another couple tweaks making sure that uh showing frames per second And what else? Reducing 3D resolution. And uh, quality presets set down to low. Okay, now we're on the magic bus. As all players jump off whenever they're ready up to the maximum allowed time. And here you can see here the uh, Fortnite map that he's this player is rapidly going towards. Okay, zoom past that. It's going to be the landing, and we're going to see some uh, combat scenes. Okay, collect some weapons, and this is going to be our first combatant there. And he's trying to turn the corner, and trying to get away. Apparently it's not that experienced. Uh, the opponent, I should say. And uh, he's Hamburger. Okay, so now another combat scene here. And again, my tech is... Uh, <clears throat> doing pretty good of course it's still early on into the game and he gets fragged himself <clears throat> okay well, you saw some of the combat there let's go ahead and uh, start checking settings once more I'll lower the 3D resolution to 50%. And back to the magic bus. And uh, here he comes down once more, ready to engage in combat. And okay, he's gonna 
frag one of his opponents there. Um, frames per second are handling well. Um, I did want to capture him driving a vehicle. That's a big part of playing Fortnite. And you can see how that vehicle play is going. So far, it looks actually pretty decent watching uh, watching this. Um, it did look better than the 1080p in which I captured this. Although I do wonder afterwards if I should use my Elgato to capture 4K. <clears throat> okay, he takes out some kind of wildebeest or uh, boar-looking creature. Okay, I want to also capture this where he's streaming through this air tunnel. And we're nearing the very end as he is, is uh, he's in the top 20 uh, survivors, uh, but uh, I think he lost track of that his health was getting a bit low as he was jumping around. Because uh, in the end it was one hop that should have been okay to do that uh, was one hop too many and he was done. And we're about at the end of this, so you can see how how well this worked. He jumps and curse flat. So there you have it. Uh, Google has been doing, uh, making a lot of progress pushing these Chromebooks out. Uh, their main appeal to corporate America is twofold. They appeal to corporate America's greed. They're light and cheap. But also they appeal to corporate America's uh, paranoia. Legitimate though, over security. And as of this time, there are no known malware or viruses for Chrome OS. Very, very secure. Okay, but as uh, in terms of gaming, as you can see, it runs best on low settings. That said, typically when somebody says they're running a, a computer game on low settings, that's usually done to get about 25 to 30 frames a second, just barely above looking choppy and robotic. And in the case of this laptop, uh, low settings was getting 120 frames a second. So it was doing really good in that regard. And I'm sure those settings could have been tweaked better to the medium size at the expense of frames per second. And, it, and bringing it down to 50 or 60 would have still been very good. So there, there's room there. So uh, it does well. Gaming laptop? No. Gaming console box? No. Gaming desktop? No. But that might fill a niche. And uh, if you, um, it might just fill a niche. So anyway, you got to see how well it works. So uh, decide for yourselves. But again, please like and subscribe. Okay. Bye-bye.